Hi, welcome back and if you're new, welcome. My name is Heather. So last time we left off, we've completed all of the quests that we can in Midgard. We learnt a lot about the char certain characters, like a little bit about Mimir, a lot about Sigrun, and yeah, Specky and Svana as well, the wolves, they're with us too. So um, we are getting ready to find the Norns right now. So. I'm actually quite nervous and excited, so let's just get into it. So I might have just made a really big mistake. I've poured myself a drink, some iced tea, and um, <laughs> I've, I've got loose tea leaves in here, so I really hope that they're not going to get all over my teeth. <laughs> so you guys would tell me if I have any in my teeth, right? right you would tell me yeah so hopefully i don't get any all over my teeth look over there oh, look at the pretty look at the pretty colors oh it's a love heart what did you find like the love the heart of provisions needed to prepare a meal a recipe who left that way out here let's take a look at the ingredients Okay. Perhaps the recipe will lead us to them. Across the realms. Find the prong fruit. The recipe calls for something called a prong fruit from Svartalheim. I wish to see this strangely named fruit. The recipe mentions a ban bantam melon that grows in a crater in Vanaheim. I could collect it if we find elven cap from Alfheim, Nordic gourd from Midgard. Okay. <laughs> That's a pretty campfire. Why does it look like that? That's beautiful. Looks like initials. Do they match the ones in that recipe? Yeah, that we found them. We might find one of those ingredients around here. We found those um, in Svartalheim when we were boarding the the cart. I remember. Oh. Ah, I knew I recognized those initials. The Ballad of Yari and Sona. I'm not familiar. An old tale, but a good one nonetheless. The carving marks their passage through this realm. We could always try and find the others if you're curious. Oh my god, they, they never end. Oh, it's the, the same one. Okay. <laughs> Are you alright there, Freya? Quiet. I just hope the norms are somewhere indoors and warm. Hmm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Fimble Winter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. King Grave, King's Grave. Oh shit! Oh shit! No, 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 that. Incoming fire! I should have gotten a resurrection stone. Mm. All right, I'm not near a door, so we're gonna have to make I just do. Hope the norms are somewhere indoors and warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Fimble Winter. Thank you. <laughs> this is my punishment. We will see soon enough. For not being prepared. <laughs> Watch the fire. <laughs> 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 Shit. Oh, 
shit. Run! Know that sword hill. Tread carefully. Okay. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. Yes. All right, um... Now's no time to wander off, brother. Freya's I, found something. I just want to kick it. Oh, my God. I want to go get a resurrection stone. Through a mystic gateway. Okay. <laughs> I've been told. Open up. Open up. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll mm -hmm. have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. <laughs> <laughs> Freya, how was Seagrin when you saw her last? She's still incorporeal, ever since Kratos set her free of her corrupted form. But she hasn't let that stop her from helping any way she can. The truth is, I owe her more than I can repay. I doubt she'd see it that way. When we freed her, she could speak of little else but her reverence for you. Seeing you yourself again would surely be payment enough. Kratos? Lady Freya? Hello, Sindri. Unleash your wave of shock to electrify enemies. Mm. The cutter of hearts and the fury of the sky. All right, we'll do this. Hope it's to your liking. Let's get this. Let me get this. And this. Freya, where is Seagram now? It's impossible to say. She's on a mission spanning the realms in search of our lost sisters. Our hope is if she can bring their incorporeal spirits to Vanaheim, we can find a way to restore them to uncorrupted forms. This is the area. Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. Oh. 
Opener. Opener. No, nothing. Nothing. Another dead end. Mm. These cheeky nons. A trap. Oh shit. Oh! 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 Enemy behind you, Kratos. Uh, oh! You get it. Find you. Incoming. Music. You know, this search will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Back to the wolves, then. Kratos, tell me more of your homeland. It was violent and cruel. Sounds no different from these lands. It was warmer. This is the place. <laughs> We need to work our way up. This way. The chest. There. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the norns making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. Three or four. Oh, I go first. I'm gonna get More grabbed. Your oh. I didn't tell them to be here. <laughs> I don't know what the Norns did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. Mm. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. <laughs> yeah. this time yeah third time it's usually the way it goes oh 
Opna. Opna. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? Yeah. The well, well of Uro, Oro, Oro Boros. <laughs> Is everyone hearing that creepy? Yes, whisper? I was going to say the exact it. same thing. In the mind. Creepy it whispers. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Uh. Projections, possibly, but assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. I'm getting the sisters, you know, with like the string of. I'm getting those vibes. Kratos, ghost of Sparta, bane of Olympus. Destroyer of fate, cruel striker, bringer of war, weapon of the gods turned against his creators. He chases a redemption he knows he can never deserve. He cannot change me. zealous worshippers who follow the path a mysterious warrior's code that promises glorious fortune and enlightenment awaiting them in Jotunheim. Little do they know that the path is simply an invention of Odin's in order to trick a large number of warriors into finding a way into the home of the giants. They're as strong as they are devout and should never be taken lightly. While the armor our dwarven friends perfectly craft as a certain has a certain finesse to them Traveler's armor is heavily reinforced and cumbersome. Getting through it is often the biggest challenge when facing these fanatical bastards. Are we in our own minds yet? He certainly seemed real enough. I hate to tell yeah. you, the parts in your mind will be real too. Yeah. Seems he was guarding that way outside. looks familiar but different like a confused memory a rather hostile memory at that these fates should know I will not be deterred hmm Freya of the Vanir master of magics queen of the Valkyries witch of the world Spring of Asgard. Destroy of all she would hope to protect. No. 
Winded know it all and I cannot change. See? You forgot smartest man alive. <laughs> I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. <laughs> Don't credit your reputation, Mamir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. There's no hiding. They know everything. What is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Bloody hell! Look at that thing! What do you mean? Uh, Missing? Uh, Focus on its core first! Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Uh 
Bloody hell, look at that thing! Another gift of Fimble Winter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. Oh, Jewel of Yggdrasil, awesome. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. That itchy sound again. Mm. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. How very dare you? Babbling. Show yourselves, cowards. Oh, oh that looks official. Oh, 
What you must. Yeah. Brother, the thing is pulling me in. Mamir. Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus, I am coming. Why didn't you trust your own son? Go and take me, Atreus. I'm scared! Why won't you see him the way he wants to be seen? I don't want to go back! Keep him I am here! He's a bad 
over. Did we pass the test? Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They mm. toy with us still. God, that would be really hard on a harder difficulty. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. Care to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. I want to look at her. Oh, cool. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Mm. Yeah, Pegasus. There were the hippocamps. Mm. They served the sea god. I battled one upon a titan. That might not be her favorite subject. search for the Norns led us to a mystical horse. Mimir called it a Kelpie. It walked upon the water, transformed, and then dived down beneath the surface, carrying us to the Norns in a sanctum. I expect our departure to be no less unpleasant. May the Norns make this journey worthwhile. Yeah. Fate's own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. What's that? Is that hair? I hope not. It looks pretty. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek my, my son. son. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's you terrifying. Know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. That was really scary. <laughs> to know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. <sighs> oh, he fails. You come to us piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts. As if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. Look at how you're scary. You're so scary. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. No. You but you called him the destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must, must be a way, way to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. 
Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. Mm -hmm. Merely make us seem prescient. When my son was born, oh, shut up! up. <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death, yeah. and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? So would he He's have died if she never God, knew, though? now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. Yeah. A common mistake in story craft. We are yeah, leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was educational. <laughs> oh. The Norns, the fates of these realms. Their names are Euro, Veron, Veron, Veroandi, and Skald. I do not know how I know this. Their meddling inside my mind is already proving difficult to recall, yet an uneasy feeling remains. No matter, I remember learning Heimdall is a threat to my son. That is enough. I I feel very uneasy too. <laughs> oh. oh. I feel very uneasy. Let us leave this place. Happily. See, I wonder, so, you know how we... Oh, that's better. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. Uh, the one Odin hanged yeah. himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? Do what you... The you opposite of what you... consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Do the opposite oh, of what your instincts tell you You're to do. You're wrong to dissuade him, Mimir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And mm. so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. See... I would wonder, I wonder, would Boulder have died? Would there have been a needless death if Freya never knew the prophecy? You know, because how they say that we create what we most fear. And, you know, it's dangerous to know your future because, yeah, so, because that's why it happened, because she was so scared of it happening. So she created it. So what if she never knew the prophecy? You know? Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother. 
but it's hardly my point. Kratos, I see something. We're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect mm -hmm. the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Yeah, but you Apparently the... my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid yeah. it. Yeah. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. Yeah. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. Mm. Yeah. One more for the tree. Find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake. So, I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. Your choice, brother. Hmm. Norns have any good news for you? No. Ah. Maybe buying something expensive will take your mind off it? <sighs> Retail therapy. Whatever you need. Yes. Woohoo! Always a joy to work on these. All right. So strength and vitality, strength and defense. They're not, the num numbers are pretty low. And they're all, mm, mm -mm. See, I had these ones on before. I think I want this one again. Thirty-six, twenty-nine, twenty-nine. These are better. Wait, defense for a new. Oh. Ooh. I think these ones are better. All right, let's go cool down. Our thoughts were transformed. Our minds remained. Until those two perverted little came. We told what we saw. Empowered his lies. Good little ravens. Good little spies. Now tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. 
Human me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. I wonder if Tia will be harmed. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Yes. Oh dear, oh dear, what's to be done? Yes. What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Neethog has been slain, and as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. Anyhow, was there something else you wish to talk about? About Neethog. You should know. Mm. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods showed the interest that you do in writing past wrongs. Now please, take the capture device and see if you can find our missing leaned worms. They're back. They're back. Simmer down, I see them. Where's Tia? I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. <laughs> Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. Oh, we didn't here. steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will this help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you need... You were saying... So now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. You will not allow harm to come to him.
Oh, I'm gonna miss you, little one. <laughs> Got it! I think. Son, we Enough! Need... Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit the lady. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a relief. <laughs> uh. Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. No idea what he's on about, brother. I wish you'd come with us, dear. I know you mean well, but to be honest, I don't like who I became on our last adventure. I can't be around the violence that follows him, that follows you both. I'm sorry. Doesn't your back hurt? You ready to go? If Ragnarok is coming, you're gonna need to stock up. Luckily, I'm offering new items. You always say that. I'm only just realizing all the little routines I've had to adopt taking care of Dropnir. I'll miss melting rings down for crafting gold, but I suppose we have enough to see us through to Ragnarok. <laughs> Too soon? Ah. Time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you have to. heard him. Quit your bread. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? We'll think the fuck again. What was oh, all that just then? Just trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in neither of Valir been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for. On account of being stupid. <laughs> Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. It's his idea. There. We keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. So... Tunnel for liquor and explosives. A little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing a culture you helped undermine. 
plastic Aesir. Oh, hmm. all right. Might have earned that one. It's an abandoned service tunnel. Sindri, is that you? Yes, I need to talk to Kratos. Please listen. Oh. You have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. What? No, do not ask again. But, oh dear. <sighs> Why not ask for clarification? It's not his fault Atreus ran off you. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating, and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate, the one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. <laughs> Bloody heartier sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. That worked. Shall we? This opinion of yours. Was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job. Not mine. It's plain to see Tears no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. 
Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I know. You. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take you. <laughs> <laughs> Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. <laughs> I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, say. Nothing in the world. <laughs> there. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. Behind you! Oh, bugger. There's two of them. And they're angry. Ha! 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 Ha!
Well, who's ready for some fresh air after that? Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. Look, I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon. And to use it. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Hair Yar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Falky! Oh. Um, the ingredients are here as well. Well, so much for following me. Fine. Let's see what you find. Oh, shit. What's this? Hey, try sticking your hand in that thing. Uh, oh my god!
on Earth. Uh. You got just what you asked for. <sighs> you sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. <laughs> what a prize he turned out to be. Huh? <laughs> Yeah. my kitchen, Better take out that net, or it'll be city out here. You want some of this? Then come get a taste. These mutts. No wonder they shut me. Hey! Call an old pecker, Grim! It is an ingredient from the recipe. Mm -hmm. How did they reach this realm? Oh, they were well versed in realm travel. You see, Yari was raised a Midgardian warrior. Meant to fight in the family's wars, find a wife, die for glory. But he rejected it. He left. He followed his own path. I wouldn't be surprised if we found their mark in other realms as well. Hang on. Almost got it. There. Well, come on in, stranger! Never do get used to that trick. <laughs> Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. We get to meet some dwarves. No, quit your nattering, you silly sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? <laughs> Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. Got something for you? Okay, looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. Not that we can reach it or anything. Mm. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Drop. Now we're talking! Hang on, coming around! Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. I think All right, now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Go! Well, I got the gate open, but you kind of need to be up here to use it, you dig? Again. He is dead! We gotta have a post off at once, see? <laughs> Attack. Damage. Well, I think they seen us. Huh? Left side, watch it. Oh. Uh. <laughs> ah, uh. What do you think you're gonna do here? Kill me? Better men have tried. And take that nest out so the thing can move. Oh yeah, right. That's Where is the nest? Here, remember? Oh right, yeah. <laughs> 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 Look out! Up above you! No. Finally! Oh now we can ride on up 
to the Ford. Come on, the lady's waiting. Hey, got another riddle for you. What gets bigger, the more you take away from it? Well, let's see. Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, mm. that doesn't work. <laughs> stump the stump. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Vampire. What? <laughs> Let's go see the lady. 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 Being in those mines was quite tedious for me as well. Like, really back here. If it wasn't for more puzzles, then I, it would have been fine, but I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but it seemed like a little bit too much. Think he understands us? Hope nobody left any hacks over lying around. I did take a little bit of a short a break, so the sun has Good gone up a little bit, me. so that's why it probably looks brighter. Just ignore them. It's no business of ours. Don't worry about them, Brock. You don't need their approval. The sound Egypt. of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See, dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. Mm. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of a thing. <laughs> Mm. Interesting. Hang on. I smell trouble. <laughs> oh my god, do I need more help? Yes. Show me what you got. Oh, shit. Wow, okay, so it actually works, okay. I mean, blades would be better. Come on. So this lady then, the lady of the forge. Okay. Ain't no more magical creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee high to a noken. But Sindri had never had it. Said I was too uncouth. But today's mm. finally the day. Whoa, I got goosebumps on my bunions. I think Sindri doesn't want Brock to come. Bro, I've never seen you so reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, fuck you. <laughs> I love Brock. It's yeah. good. So maybe Sindri doesn't want Brock to come because she'll tell him why he's blue, you know? No. Oh, see, I pressed Y. There we go. Alright. Put my weapons away. Alright. Go on, pasty. Turn the crank. Let's do this. So 
many mystical work. things huh? in this video. What is it this time? Uh, Out of the way. Let me look. Okay. Is there a thing I have to hit? Oh, fuck no. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Alright. Hey, this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. Yeah, it's strange. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. Alright. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tape. We're mining. <clears throat> Pretty. He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Oi. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Uh, all right. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I plumb drop. Time to go find there's less to prove. You learn to keep your space. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Yeah. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. I like that. That's pretty. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, oh, is it? Um... That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge. But we're going to the nature of wood. I was almost following him for a moment there. It's so pretty, like we're good. all the Frank. architecture. Architecture. It's just so cool. She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. It's gonna say your soul. <laughs> Give me your hand. Okay. Mm
What is it? Your home was forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless you for us. She's not even acknowledging you, Brock. She won't even you look were... at you. Hello? Yeah. Hello? <laughs> the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mm-hmm. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. I speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! The fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, oh the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters, not its form. No. <laughs> This weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. The Lady of the Forge. Brock spoke of the lady with much reverence before our arrival. In fact, this mermaid is herself the forge for this mountain, the forge for this mountain. Her melding the pieces of the Dropnia spe Drop Dropnia spear was a sight unlike any I have witnessed. It is unfortunate she could not see Brock due to his missing soul bits. Mm. Now you know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a twirl. Look! We got volunteers! Uh, ex Wow, okay. Do we get a little... No. I thought we might get a little synopsis on the weapon. Okay. A very Spartan weapon. I've never been a fan of spears. Really? Oh, another. Okay, so I have protection on that one. Okay. All right, um, we'll go damage. All right. Oh. How do I get it out? Hey, think maybe you want to try out that new spear or what? No. That's the stuff. Ain't your first time with the spear, I reckon. No. It is the first weapon a spark can learn. Yeah. It's just like old times here. That's not a good thing, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Drop zero! 
What you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to yeah. protect you. Weren't his call to make. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about. It. Take heart, Block. We all die sometimes. Yeah, Many I agree. Of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We got to finish putting the spirit through our paces. I look Come how big it is. Might have to get creative up ahead. Yeah, he should have told him. Oh, 
Oh, there's another one there. Oh, I didn't even know. Okay. Um, is there any more? Oh, come on. I think that's it, yeah? I can't see any more. Don't you see where they're coming from? Oh, okay. Incoming! Above you! Oh, there it is. Setting off a spear in anything like that's a sure way to alter your circumstances on the right quick. Hey, you're a net! Bigger the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that mm -hmm. I see it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. Fill my balls and make it over there. Ah, you better be on that. Find your brother. You got a problem with that? Do something about it. in here. One of Nicole's children. Put you in the trap. Great. You got him. Oh, hello there. Hmm. Sorry. Didn't mean to scare you or anything. You did not. Right. Uh, you can bring that back to Ratatoskr whenever you're ready. Lindworm scales. Defense. Oh, yes. Cool. A new weapon. <laughs> okay, I'm going to end this recording here. So, the fates were so interesting. I loved that scene a lot. It was very creepy and eerie and yeah just really really interesting so they can't actually read minds i guess for lack of a better word or term um they use common sense really or more more accurately maybe use previous actions to determine future actions sort of thing so that is very interesting so i guess we can kind of strategize with that i mean it's a lot better than just this is what's going to happen and that's it that's your fate so it is very interesting and it does give i think it gives us some hope in changing changing it even though kratos seems determined <laughs> just to keep on repeating the same action but that's look that's understandable i understand i get it but um I am glad that Brock finally knows that part of his soul is missing and that he died. So we have that confrontation to look forward to in the next video. If you enjoyed and would like to continue this series with me, consider subscribing. I would love to have you here. Thank you for watching. Bye.